What up guys? So, I've already done an EDC video for this month, but it's shit so I'm going to redo it. Normally I like to do them outside so you can tell that that's what I actually carry, and I'm not just pulling stuff out of drawers. On top of that the lighting was shit, and I forgot to show the bag, and I've got some new stuff since the last video, so yeah I just thought I would redo my EDC update. Just in a random field. Found this thick patch of woods I thought I would explore, but I can't really get into it. There's just brambles everywhere and stinging nettles and the whole floor of the woods is just literally covered in brambles and st stinging nettles, so I can't be bothered to go in through that. So anyway, I'll just get straight into the ADC video and show you the new stuff and what's in the bag. So I'll start off with the bandana. Still got that survival metrics one. Not survival metrics, uh, head for survival. Uh, knife, I'm just pulling out random things. Got the Colt muskrat. Slip joint. Keys. If I can get them off. They have changed. I've stopped using the uh, Griffin pocket tool. So I found as a pry bar it was just too thick to pry some things like paint cans. I've still got the Glue on the fob key fob thing. Uh, the gear shard helps if it's in the frame. Got the tops rape whistle, the Spider Co Honeybee, the Phoenix E01, the Exotac Nano Striker XL, and uh, the brand new piece of kit which has been a lifesaver since I've had it. I usually use uh, the Victorinox ones. So I started using these, and these are Uncle Bill's uh, sliver grippers, made in the USA. Just here's the tweezers with pinpoint precision, and they're really good. They're actually a lot better than the uh, Victorinox ones. So that's one of the newest things. Got the uh, Zippo with the uh, butane Thunderbird butane insert so I don't have to worry about wicks or anything I just have to worry about the flint and that's pretty much it doesn't leak so that's awesome sauce uh, flashlight getting a bit distracted because I'm getting hounded with bloody Black flies, uh, oil light, SO2 baton. Starting to get a bit of wear on it. Still got the Leatherman Wave. Uh, the phone is still the Samsung Galaxy Ace 4. The wallet is still the Spec Ops wallet. Let's get the cards out. In here, I've got a little kit. I've got a Fresnel lens. A coin that my girlfriend rock gave us. Just wrapped up in some paper to protect it. Got some uh, nano paracord. A little signal mirror, which I use all the time to get thorns and shit out my face. A P38 can opener. Just a couple of band aids. A little fishing kit as well. And then 
one of the most used EDC items is the seal needle and I think this is a number 18 these these and before these the Victorinox were lifesavers the the most used EDC items because I'm always working around plants that have thorns and spikes and I'm constantly getting bloody slithers of wood under my skin the worst one was actually just last week right there that was an absolute bastard to get out I had two there and another one that one was that's about a month ago and that one was pretty close to an artery or a little vein but uh and I've also got a little uh, ferrocerium rod and that's my little kit that I carry in the wallet um, besides that all I've got is uh, some coins and a receipt for some beer that I've just bought and I'm going to try out today but uh, that's pretty much my uh, personal ADC gear and I'll get into the bag now and I also forgot besides money only other thing in here is the uh, Tops uh, snap knife by Norseman. Oh, and my watch, another thing I almost forgot, is still a Casio edifice, and I've still got the uh, Mac Army self defense ring. So the bag is still the Max Expedition Monsoon, and then this. Start off with the front pouch. Try and get the camera centered. A little tricky because the ground's uneven. Just got a twenty-two thousand uh, pound climbing grade carabiner. I think it's by Black Diamond. Uh, in here, I just got a little titanium esbit spark or spoon or foon, whatever the hell you want to call them. Don't know. Don't care. Uh, I've got some titanium chopsticks that take up a lot less room than a fork and knife so I prefer these and these will do everything a fork and knife can do don't function too well as a spoon though so that's what the foon spoon foo fork whatever the hell you call them are and uh, one thing I've been trying out is just a very cheap pair of multipliers these are uh, king chrome or kin chrome 18 functions actually a really good multi-tool I think I paid about 20 pound for it I think it's got a very similar saw to uh, if I can get it the Leatherman almost identical the saws and this is basically just a knockoff um, Leatherman Super Tool 300. The Phillips screwdriver is a little too thick for most uh, Phillips screwdriver screws. And it's got a little 2mm and a serrated blade and a can opener, which works pretty good. And this side you got your main blade, which is a good. 4mm thick blade, and it's actually quite sharp. The grinding is really bad though. You see it's a really high grind here. And on this side it's... thin and close to the edge. And it's not a very good grind and it's not very easy to sharpen, but uh, got an awl here. Which is also a very sharp and very stiff to get out. I actually cut myself trying to get the all out like this. This was a couple of weeks ago so it's healed now so you can't really see it but it was a pretty nasty cut. And I've got a 3mm screwdriver, a 4mm screwdriver slash cap lifter, a double sided file with a, a bit down here is a metal and plastic file. That's pretty good. 
it's obviously it's actually not that bad as far as play goes and the ends are pretty good so I just thought I've been trying this out just to see if I like it and so far it's been pretty good when I've been close to the bag I've been using this instead of the Leatherman and it is pretty good And this pouch on the side It's got some snare wire Oh, sorry, multi-purpose wire Got a match cap filled with matches and a striker and a little um, Pierce beads Let's See if I can adjust the camera so you can actually see There you go, I accidentally hit the pause button But I've got a 550 paracord, uh, some tin foil, one of these uh, unbelievable saws. That's the actual name of them, is unbelievable saws. They're actually really good. They work like those wire commando saws, but they've got like a chainsaw blade on them. It's not actual chainsaw blade, obviously, but it just works really good. And a uh, table flame lighter. Which is also very good. So that's that. Okay, so on the inside, these are the beers that I'm trying out today. Uh, Fun Boy Jack, recommended Blue Moon. But uh, they ran out of that, so I've settled for this, which is another American beer. It's a Hopalips Now Golden Ale. It's an American beer, but it's actually brewed and bottled in Ireland. So see if it's good it's got some instructions on it your mission that stop shaking you require delicious hoppy goodness with satisfying bit of finish your target your taste buds inventory required one glass preferably pint one bottle opener chilled bottle of e lips now loaded with chinook cascade and fool's hop complete your mission is for full satisfaction for further fuck off flight for further supplies, please visit your nearest stock list. Good luck, soldier. None of that was in camera. Well, I don't have a pint glass, so... Anyway. Next beer is the best beer I have ever had, and that's Witchwood Brewery Hobgoblin, which is brewed in England. And it's freaking awesome. One of the best beers you can get. And I've also got some cleaning wipes for hygiene, a little fake GoPro, a protein bars by Hike. Gluten free, which I don't care about that sort of crap. Got the Phoenix T820. Then in here. I got some charging cables, this one's for my phone and this one's for my flashlight. Uh, some more hygiene stuff, just some hand sanitizer gel. Uh, the battery charger for my phone and flashlight. I got the tops triple P pry probe and punch tool wrapped up in a sock because I lost the pouch that it was in. I don't know how, it just went missing, but that's the uh, tops pry probe and punch tool. And I've got some uh, number 36 bank line, a little first aid kit, a knife sharpener, some gorilla tape, a little compass, and my normal work knife, which is the tops, sorry, cable, a bulldozer. That's that for the main pouch. Okay, before we go any further, let's try out the button armory ship. Forty two.
Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, I'll never do that again. Okay. Thanks for watching.